That didn't feel good. Oh my god. Nate. Hey, Nate! Bitch, what the fuck are you doing here? There it is. Who the hell lives here anyway? I don't know, no idea. But this is definitely the address. Oh yeah. I'm scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. This is that shit. You remember they said let's uh go steal back what's ours? Remember? <laughs> yeah. So that's what we about to do. And here we are. That shit knocked me back oh. into the past again. This place is humongous. <laughs> Where do we even start? We start by finding a way in, and then we can take the grand tour. All right. Well, apparently we're some little ass kids again. So, uh, if I remember correctly, all right. Um, I, I might have just talked about this. I don't know. I'm picking up where I left off yesterday. So, um, what we're doing is we're, we're we're back in the past. All right. This is when uh when my bro, you know, oh oh buddy Rose Sam here. All right. He came and he got me out of the orphanage, and he said, hey. I got this new motorcycle, and we need to go steal some shit. So <laughs> we're going to steal back what I think was our parents um, that someone bought at an auction. So let's go. Ooh, got chilly all of a sudden. You want because I got th back? Uh, no, 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 no. Just gotta keep moving. You gotta keep moving, bitch. You're still standing there. Yep. Uh, you just gotta keep moving, Sam. You were literally standing there. Not doing shit. So, you know what? Go fuck yourself. I'll do this on my own. I'll do this all by myself. We'll just bust right up in the damn front door. We're gonna kill whoever lives here. Alright? Sure well, let's find out. Okay. Eh? It was worth a try. Yeah. Now, where you at? Where's he at? Are you are you finally bringing your ass? You got any bright ideas, huh? All right, you want to go this way? Look, this is your heist. This was your idea. You're the big brother. I'm just a little ass kid, so I'm gonna need you to show me what to do. All right, I'm trying to learn. All right, let's look around back, huh? Sounds good. I like to look around the back. Hey Nathan, <laughs> look, it's an open window. Oh, yeah. Here, follow me. Where? Okay. Give me your hand. I don't see no goddamn open window. You have to show me. All right, there you go. Appreciate it. Now, how did you know that window was open? Maybe, or maybe it ain't that window. I can't jump that high, you piece of shit. Oh, okay. How did you see that? There's no fucking way. Come on, Nathan. Come on, Nathan. There you go. Good job. Whoa. Spooky. Oh, here. I brought a spare. What the hell kind of... Shit is so, this. Are we looking for any particular room? And just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? Alright. I can do that. Here's a box full of shit. Hmm, nothing in here. I mean there, there was stuff in there, Nathan. Maybe not what you're looking for, but there was definitely stuff in there. All right, so basically we're looking for these white boxes. Nope. Yeah, it's not going to be in this attic. The boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. But what about this, huh? Uh-oh. Yeah, Miss Evelyn, my name is Kenicho Namaba. I recently attended your lecture at Adventures Lodge last week regarding your recent find. The set of the Takagawa-era armor you obtained off the coast of Okinawa. Your presentation was utterly fascinating, though I was surprised by the con condescending tone of the questions from your audience. 
I believe recognition and respect for one's work should not be contingent on race or gender. I imagine we have both struggled in that regard. Uh, I write today because I have come into possession of what I believe to be a French jousting armor, though I am not completely certain of the date nor the country of origin. Uh, if you have any time to spare, I would appreciate the insight of someone of your expertise. Apologies if this is too forward, but I will only be in the city for another month. In September, I travel to Iceland to study a Viking burial site. Uh, I would deeply regret missing the opportunity to speak with you further. I'm staying at the Linux. If you wish to contact me, I sincerely hope you do. Kindest regards, Kenichiro Naba. All right. Okay. Some armor. Okay. They better hope this shit ain't here because I'll steal the hell out of that. All right, Sam. Were you over here acting like you found something? What are you doing? There okay. You, you found a way down. And we're just, you know, no big deal. Just breaking into somebody's house. So how do we find them? What the shit? I mean, don't you remember? She always used that off-white leather binding. Yeah, I know, but it's such a large place. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. Well, first things first, just start looking. Here we go. White leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No. It's not one of Mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking. Well, shit. Hmm. Make sure I didn't miss anything back here. Before we keep moving. Nope. Oh, nope, 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 nope. All right. I've already looked over here, Sam. All right. Oh shit! You wanna play some foosball? I will beat your ass, Sam. Let's look in this room. This shit is kind of creepy, though. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, got another letter. Y'all ready? What was that? I see something out there. No. This looks like a kid's room. Find out. Dear Eddie, greetings from Peru. I hope my letter arrives safely. There is no post office here, only a small patch of grass serving as a runway and slow boats up to the Manu River. I wish you could have seen the howler monkeys yesterday, bright orange creatures with expressive faces and ample curiosity. I would not describe the noise they make as howl, however. It's like a hurricane wind mixed with a lion's roar. Uh, were it not illegal and dangerous, I would bring home one for you as a pet. Uh, your mom is busying herself with preparations for tomorrow's excursion into the jungle, where we hope to conclude our research. She sends her love. I promise when you're older, we shall bring you on our trip so that you might experience the larger world for yourself. Be good for grandmother, study hard, and we shall see you in a month. Love, Dad. Was this your house? Shit, it wasn't my house. That's for damn sure. And, uh... Why would you not send me a picture of the fucking monkeys, huh? Hey, these boxes remind you of anything? Every place you tell we me. ever lived. Exactly. I remember Dad was always like, why bother unpacking? We're just gonna move again in a month. Yep. Always the asshole. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point. He definitely has a point. Hey, Sam. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Nathan, who in their right mind would have a Ming Dynasty vase just sitting around like that? Yeah. It's probably a knockoff of some kind. Yeah, of course it is, right? Right. Right. Pick it up. I want it. I will steal the shit out of that. And let me ask you a question, Sam. Why am I the only motherfucker that knows how to open <laughs> doors? Uh, budge. Here, let's do it together. You ready? All right, now you're us. Push. Push. What the hell? Jesus. This guy's got some nice shit. It's some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Sam. This is real. What 
is this place? Huh? Let's go find out. <laughs> I'll tell you one goddamn thing. If a bunch of mummies come running out of this shit, I'm the fuck out of here. 100% the fuck out of here. They got some dope ass stuff in this house, though. Look. Except for her floppy ass titties. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, the bitch needs to put a bra on. All right. Oh, God. Oh, this one's Roman. Third, maybe fourth century. Yep. I bet you didn't know that I knew all this shit, did you, Sam? Huh. I'm amazing. Hmm. And you recognize that one? Uh... I've seen something like it before. Reclining figures. It's Etruscan. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah. yeah, but husband and wife, and buried together. It's kind of dark, and like in an awesome sort of way. Well, tell me why this bitch is laying like that. Her back is broken. There's no way she is. Look, it's like a damn museum. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Think they've got a dinosaur wing? Wouldn't surprise oh, shit. you. Iron Maiden up in this bitch. Can I look at the Iron Maiden? No. Oh, oh, oh. Organ jars. <laughs> cool. Hey, do me a favor. When I die, bury me in one of these. Sure. Can I mummify you and put your organs in a jar, too? <laughs> on second thought, maybe not. Why? Why do you care? You'd be dead. You'd be dead. I'm going upstairs. Oh, I'm stealing this shit. I stole a goddamn toy airplane. You didn't see nothing, Sam, all right? If anybody asks you any questions, you just keep your damn mouth shut. They have so much shit in this house. It's insane. There's another one. And another one. <sighs> nope. How many people use these? She's an ancient Mesopotamian washer dryer combo. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, was the funny one. Always was. Sam, shut the fuck up. You want me to open this other door, huh? This place is a fire hazard. All right. There's way too much shit in this. Hey, Nate, in this check house. me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston, come on. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hi. Right, stop fucking around. We got shit to do. All right, we're here for business. Well, you know, we, we could stop and have breakfast. Because I am a little hungry. Man, what I wouldn't give to get an invite like this. Uh, please join us at the Adventurer's Lounge for an annual holiday gala. Uh, December 21st, 5 to 10, open bar, buffet dinner, presentation by President Charles M. Walsh on his recent expedition to Africa, new member initiation, silent auction. It's been a while. I do hope you'll join us this year, Charles. Huh. So whoever was here, is, whoever's house this is, pretty amazing. All right. They're pretty well known, pretty famous, I would think. So where are we going? Huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay, well. Um, there we go. And where are your stops? Nobody Thank knows. You. Yeah, we'll visit the Taj Mahal. One more? And then around she goes. Soviet Boom. Union. Let's go to Moscow. Yeah, it might be a tad difficult to get in. I always wanted to see the red square, though. One more. Let's try again. Boom. England. Sure would be cool to see Windsor Castle. Right, Sam? Hey, hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault you weren't born yet. It's not like I remember much of it anyways. And oh, shit. It wasn't that cool. Uh-huh. Okay. He's been before. One last spin. Brazil. 
Hey, now you're talking. Brazil. All kinds of undiscovered places in the rainforest. And all kinds of undiscovered tribes with poison darts. Yeah. That too. <laughs> and a whole lot of he she's. Oh. Hey. Beautiful check armor. Check it out. We just running around this person's house, just playing like a bunch of kids. Fertility totems. Are you a little young to be looking at that stuff? Aren't you a little old to be making that joke? <laughs> she got floppy titties too, and that baby is getting him some fucking breakfast. Look at that. He's getting him some breakfast straight from the source. Well, now we went through the kitchen. We done seen the baby sucking on some titties. I'm hungry. All right. I am hungry. Wow. Oh, we got another. This table is as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. I bet the food here was better. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. Damn. They must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Looks like it's Please. been a long time since the last one, though. I mean, imagine if this house burnt down. God, like, how how could you keep this much shit in one place? Whoa. Warrants of Arabia. Always wanted to see that flick. Never got around to it, though. <laughs> that it? Nothing special? All right. So that was that was nothing special. Holy shit! Jousting armor looks French. Isn't this the one that was on that the the, uh, the note old boy left? I think it is. This one right here. Hey, maybe don't go waving your flashlight around the windows too much. Hey. Don't worry about me, all right? Or you could just not listen to me. Because you don't know shit, Sam, all right? You just going to grow up and lie to my damn face? thought we was, holy shit, this place is beautiful. A dragon gong. Hmm. Looks like it's from Southeast Asia. Nice. Going it alone. I wonder, is this what makes us really want to be treasure hunters. Look at these. Compass, sundial. Just imagine being lost at sea. And those instruments are the only thing standing between death and salvation. Yeah. It's crazy. Can you oh, yeah. imagine being the one to actually uncover these things? <laughs> Must be something, right? See, this is where they get the bug. This is why... They really want to start doing this shit. Evelyn, I happened across the latest issue of Adventure Life and was both surprised and delighted to see you Grace's cover once again. I am pleased to see you looking so happy still doing what you enjoy. In spite of our separate lives, your accomplishments still bring me no small amount of pride. Attached is the photo from Edmund's graduation. Top of his class. I guess we did something, right? Uh, though he would kill me if he knew I told you, I want you to know that Edmund was devastated when you chose to journey to India without him this past summer. He has grown into a capable and self-assured young man he flashes his flashes of insight remind me of you, particularly the look of that the look that crosses his face just before that eureka moment. Uh, what's more, he loves and admires you more than I can express. I've had my share of struggles over the years, and I've never asked you for anything. I'm now asking you to take Edmund on your next journey. I know it'll be a challenge, and you might not move at the pace you're you're used to, but I promise you this: you'll find a joy the likes of no one else can provide. I look forward to hearing about your next big find. Keep making all of us proud. With warm regards, Ken. All right. So obviously, um, what was this bitch's name? Evelyn. Evelyn owns this house, all right? Her and her husband got divorced, and oh, shit. Her husband is in a wheelchair now. So that's something. Huh. I wonder if that have anything to do with the divorce. All right, we got some books over here. Hey, they've got your favorite book here. Really? Which one? A General History of the Robberies and Murders of the Most Notorious Pirates. 
Yeah, more like a generally made up history. Even the author's name is a fake. What's the author's name? Captain Charles Johnson. Pirates with a Y. Why the fuck's it spelled like that? Pirates. Oh. Fake or not, this looks like a first edition. Are you serious? This place, man. Wow. Want to take it with you? <laughs> nah. It'll just disintegrate in my backpack. You could sell it. Then you wouldn't need to take that job. Well, tonight, let's just stick with what already belongs to us. All right, so I am the one wanting to steal shit now, and he's he's wanting to stick to the to the straight and narrow. So that's a little bit of interesting tidbit of information. Get some tunes playing. Oh shit, she burnt this letter. Huh. Nice. Liven up the place. <laughs> Since when do you like classical music? <sighs> Y'all shut up, I got to read. Man of many tastes. Okay, so it's what's left yeah, of it. It's burnt. Here's what it says. Uh, allow the sarcophagus to, to my god. They said no. No, I uh, needed the money. I if y'all could shut up. Either. Anytime. I wait. I wait. All right. Allow the sarcophagus to join its fellows from uh Aminotep's tomb in our museum. I certainly understand your reluctance. You did beat us to the find after all. But our offer is more than generous, and I can assure you it will be treated and displayed with the proper care and respect due, uh, due the sarcophagus and the effort undertaken to retrieve it. Uh, you have enjoyed its magnificence in your home for years. It is time to share it with the rest of the world. I hope you will reconsider my offer. Peter K. All right, so someone wanted to buy some of that shit. <coughs> Woo! Shoo! Excuse me, it's dusty. Dusty in this house. So someone wanted to buy the sarcophagus and they just said fuck that and they burned the letter. Tried to anyway. There is just a mountain of shit in this house. Oh, third time's a charm. Damn it. Journals Never about mind. everything in the world, but nothing from mom. It's a big house. Don't give up yet. Okay. I don't think mom's journals are anywhere in here. Let's, uh, let's check upstairs. Let me Same check this armor first. Eh? You recognize the crest? Uh, hollyhock leaves are, um, let's see. Don't tell me, don't tell me, uh, Tokugawa clan. Yeah, right you are. Yeah. Now I'm a fucking samurai. Huh. I can't do no sweet rolls now with the helmets on. Check this door. Hmm, it's locked. Mom's stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in. What about this way? Well, shit. Where are you shining at? There's nothing up there. Following your lead, homie. All right. That vent? Is that what you're thinking? Thinking we can get in that vent right there? Huh? I mean, don't fucking help me out at all. Shit. I see you looking, son of a bitch. How the shit do you want me to climb up there? Hey, the air vent. Oh, are you up fucking there. kidding me? I see it. Oh, yeah. That could get us into the room below it. Not us. You. What? I can't fit in there. Can you handle it? You kidding me? Can I handle it? All right. Let's see what you got then. All right, you gonna fucking give me a boost to fucking show me how to get up there, huh? Huh? You and me climb. I see what I gotta do. I gotta climb with those goddamn things hanging on the wall. Huh? 
Push. Are you ready? Oops. Oops. It's a Polaroid. Let me see. I think it still works. Come here. Now smile, all right? <laughs> what a dumbass hats on. Don't lose it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Keep shaking it. Yeah, look at us. We're becoming beautiful. Huh. Look at us. That shit came out good. A nice ass camera. All right, I'm done wearing this stupid ass hat. Okay, up here. Can you get the hell out the way so I can climb? Hey, don't fall. I got this, homie. All right. Gotta watch out for the damn. Uh... Oh shit! No! Almost knocked it over. I bet he knocks this one over. Where you bet? No? Okay. Look at this. I'm amazing. Climb your damn son of a bitch. There you go. Uh oh. My battery's getting low. Battery's getting low. That ain't good. Oh, yeah. There. I'll see you on the other side. Okay. See you it's a good on thing the. I'm not claustrophobic. Yep. It's a good thing you're little too, cause uh. All right, there we go. Come on, Nate. I'm gonna kick this motherfucker. I said kick. Okay, I'm in. Can you get the door open? <sighs> it's locked from this side too. And look around. Is there a key nearby? <sighs> Coding. Lots of painkillers. Huh. All right. Yeah, I could tell somebody in this room was fucked up. Look at this. Somebody in this room was absolutely fucked up. Let me look for that key right quick. All right, I don't see a key. Ah, uh, we're about to learn what's up in this room. <laughs> Evelyn, I was hoping I wouldn't have to write this letter. I was hoping our last conversation made my intentions clear. I was hoping that ignoring your repeated attempts to contact me would eventually send the right message. Discovering you sent my daughter a check in the mail means the message was too subtle for someone like you. I don't need your money, and more to the point, I don't want your money. I can take care of my family just fine without your help. It's insulting to both of our intelligences uh, to pretend that your hollow gesture would somehow rekindle our relationship. What little was left of our bond died the moment you couldn't bother to show up for Dad's funeral. Uh, right up to the moment he drew his last breath, he still loved you. I don't. I pray, for, I pray you find peace with whatever it is you've been seeking your entire life, but do not contact me or my family again. Edmund. Shit. So, well, that's Pops sad. died, and the son, he said, fuck this bitch. That's an old-ass picture. That was her, him, and uh, Edmund. Whoa. Whoa. Did you hear that creepy-ass noise? Somebody want to explain to me how the fuck there's a key in the room and the door is locked and the key's in here. Like, who the fuck locked the door? So, anything? Didn't see any journals. 
This is some sad ass well, shit. We still got the other locked door, so come on. I mean the other. There's one. There's one door. It's this one right here. Wow. Uh, journals galore. Well, let's see what we find. What's this? Is this it? Nope. I want to know how so many people have used this same fucking white journal. Can we please find mom's journal? Shit. No. Oh my god. And why is every book backwards? You know what I mean? Every single book I find, I have to flip over. Alright, seeing as how this looks like the last box in this room, this has to be it. Whoa. <laughs> Sam. Oh, you got something? Yeah. <gasps> this is it. <laughs> oh shit, he's having some feels. Push it back in there, bitch. We taking that box with us. Which is a paradise. Whoa, Henry Avery. Gunsway heist. Oh shit! So, their mom is who started oh, looking for this treasure. There. I've never seen this one. Yeah, me either. But that, you know, that's definitely mom's handwriting. Put up your hands. Slowly. Hey, hey, hey. There's no need for that. What is he holding? Hey, hey, you keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. I'm sorry, Nathan. Can you tell them that it's our moms? Please? So what now? Now, we wait uh, for the police. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady. It was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. And at least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it. He had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. You're Cassandra Morgan's boys. Uh, hi? My god. <coughs> I could have shot you. Yeah, you still might, so, uh, do you mind? <sighs> you knew her mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed, I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> That's sort of an understatement. So, Mom was like your translator? Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. But then her illness. It... I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Happened a long time ago. 
of all her discoveries. This would have been her crowning achievement. Sick Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Sir Francis Drake's motto. Yeah, Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate's secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. <laughs> Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman. Yeah. It is as much yours as it is mine. Goddamn right it is. Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, so uh we're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I trust you can see yourself out. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, Here. <sighs> Thank you. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> All right, come on, Nathan. Let's go. Are you okay? Of course. Holy shit. Hey. 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 Sam? Oh, Kuli, you all right? Wait, we have to do something. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. Can't just leave her here. There's nothing we can do for her. All right, we have to run. If the cops find us here, then this. Ma'am? Nathan! We gotta go. Right now. Shit, we could just tell the cops we called them. So this old bitch died upstairs. Oh, shit. Window, window, come on. You've been running for shit our whole goddamn life, ain't we? Okay, you check upstairs. You come with me. Come on, Copy that. fuck out of here. Hurry. We, we could have shut the window. Hurry the fuck up, Sam. God damn. <laughs> shit. Careful. Haven't heard back from the guy since not. Yeah. Come on, jump, jump. Sam, I got you. Just jump. All right, shit. Give me a second. Why am I walking like a bitch all of a sudden? Come on. The chimney. Come on. Coming. Huh. Why would this many police show up? They don't even know anything's wrong. Front gate looks clear. Front gate. Got it. Oh, slow. Okay. Hey, Dave, you all right? You there, don't move. Run for Run. 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 This way. We can lose him. This is Officer Murphy. We've got two burglary suspects on foot. One adult, one juvenile. Both fail. Freeze, goddammit. <laughs> I don't think so. Damn it! Pack this way. Let's go. go. go, go. Whoops. Gotcha. Run. They're just run, standing there run. letting us run by. Fuck them. I did already. One more warning. Down on the ground. Hands on your head. Gotcha. Oh shit. You ain't got shit. The hell off me. The hell off me. I'm amazing. All right, I'm amazing. Whoa. Keep run. running. Run. Keep running. Run. Bitch, I'm outrunning you. All right, I don't know which way you want to go. Oh, shit, no! 
No! Okay, you wanna go this way. Let's go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh shit! They're bolting! The dumpster, come on! Okay. Come on. Pull me up, motherfucker, let's go! Go back around. Back to the main gate! Come on, roll off this bitch. Ugh. On the bike, now, come on! Alright, hold on tight. Uh, that was sick. I mean, we left fingerprints all over that house. So, being real, we uh, we we fucked up pretty bad. I'd say we're clear, but we catch our breath for a second. It's a nice shot. Some night, huh? Some night. That old lady. Hey. Hey, you listen to me. That wasn't our fault back there. I mean, that lady, she... She was some... Fucking sick. old? I mean, it's okay to feel bad. But there was nothing we could do about it. So what are we gonna do now? I can't go back to the orphanage. You can't go back to your job. Then we don't. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? And how long till the cops find us? Well, I think they'll be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. What if it wasn't? Oh, that's shit! It. Back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined for something great. But until tonight, I didn't know what that meant. But this... Mom's unfinished work. This is our chance to restart our lives. With brand new identities. What are you talking about? Well, I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. Now, as for our new name... Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. Who's to say he didn't? You're serious, aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise, you and me, together, we're gonna go far. What do you say? Nathan Drake? Huh. And everything changed after that. You know, we became explorers, adventurers, mostly thieves. Ow. Okay, just hold still. You know, for a while, it felt like. You know, if we weren't taking turns going to jail, it was because we were in jail together. And you know, after I lost him, I, after I thought I lost him, I, you didn't want to bring him back up again. Something like that. That's it. Now you know everything. With you, I doubt that that's everything. But... It's a lot. I'd love to know what you're thinking. I'm thinking that you're lucky that I found you when I did. I'm glad you didn't lose a limb or anything. It would have been a royal pain getting you out of here. How did you, uh, find me anyway? Oh, you know, easy. Just follow the sound of gunfire. <laughs> no, I mean, how did you get here? Sully, I'm sure. Oh, of course. <laughs> Come in, Sully. 
Hey, darling. How's he doing? Oh, you know, he's banged up, but he's alive, par for the course. Now we just need to rescue the other Drake. What do you mean? I'll let Nate tell you. Hey, pal. Glad you could join us. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. So what happened to Sam? Rafe's got him. Shit. You know where they are? Uh, yeah, they're headed to the northern side of the island. See if you can find a place to set down over there. Once we get Sam, we're gonna need to get out of here pretty quick. Copy that. Hey, hey, what about the treasure? Forget it. We don't need it. But Alcazar... No, there is no Alcazar. It's all bullshit. Wait, you mean the dip, the... The escape? Yeah, Sam made it all up. Because he's a asshole, bastard. Right? Look, I'll fill you in on everything when I see you, okay? Yeah, I can't wait. Look, you two be safe down there. You know us. JJ. Appreciate it. Thanks. Sure? No, I mean... Thanks for saving me. Again. And for getting over your shit. Time. Right. Come on. I got us a ride. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons.